All right, hey guys, welcome to another train simulator video. We are back on none other than the Powder River Basin by Tomcat. We are on our third subdivision of like 90. Of course, there's not 90. There's like six, I think. Uh, anyway, we are on the Black Hills subdivision, and we're sitting here on uh, the Edgemont City Park Pier across this little pond here watching the glorious and illustrious uh, Searchlight Simulations SD40-2 pack. The BNSF pack, of course, and the uh, Rolling Stock as well. Um, just coming into town, rolling into Edgemont, South Dakota. So we're going to be trying to cover Edgemont, South Dakota, which is the beginning of the Black Hill sub, to Campbell Junction or Donkey Creek, mainly just Donkey Creek. Um, anyway, this is Edgemont. Uh, there's there's one industry here. I don't know if it's still rail served. It might be. Uh, the Cheyenne River runs through here. Uh, and Deadwood Junction is here too. An old railroad spur that, uh, well not a spur, a line that used to run over Deadwood, which is pretty neat. But it's now a uh, like a multi-use trail, if you will. But uh, Edgewood is... Edgewood. <laughs> here we go. Edgemont is a crew change point for BNSF. Uh, essentially the uh, Gillette and Alliance division. Um, Burlington Northern Railroad created the town in uh, about 1890. Well, Burlington Northern. CB and Q anyway, not Burlington Northern. Uh, in 1890, essentially building through the territory, which is how the, the town sprang up here. And uh, the Mickelson Trail and all that good stuff. But we'll just check out this area. So we'll fly up here. Uh oh, what'd I do? Okay, that's just rail cars being loud. So we are on the edge of Edgemont. That worked out just fine. This over here running alongside us is Cottonwood Creek. Sometimes dry, sometimes not. Uh, like I said, crew change point. Got a couple of random trains sitting here. Uh, empty coal train getting ready to go back uh, westbound. Some other stuff. Uh, now this right here is Ranchers Feed and Supply. Now there's a spur going over here, so I went ahead and set some hoppers here for some grain. Uh, this this place still exists. Uh, it used to be a feed mill until about 1985, and a family bought it, and it's uh, essentially now a uh, a farm and, and feed store uh, for the most part. So I got a couple of grain hoppers bringing in feed and all that good stuff. Out that way is the Black Hills, a very, very gorgeous area of South Dakota. Um, we're going to be in between South Dakota, and we're going to finally scooch on into Wyoming up here, uh, down the road a ways. But this is the town of Edgemont, and it's it's very nicely built. Once again, he's got some some spare rails sitting around, some BNSF trucks and high rails, and got a little office over here. Uh, Again, I, I love the uh, the scenery on this map. That's no secret. Just the the houses, the buildings, the bushes, uh, just the way these towns are laid out. They just it looks so good. This is on another level, you know. Um, you know, we get a lot of paid stuff off the Steam store that, that looks pretty good, but this right here is uh, I would most definitely pay full price for. Uh, it does require. Um, prerequisites as far as uh, other routes which if you'd like to know a bit more about that check out the first video um, otherwise I'll link everything down below where you can typically find all the stuff that you'll need uh, for this route in itself but this is just the little town of Edgemont we'll go over here and check out uh, the spur or not the spur I keep saying spur 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 the line over to uh, to Deadwood a nice little crossing here Ring-a-ding-dingin. Got our dash twos coming. Lovely little bridge right here. Now this is the Cheyenne River. Uh, this is essentially a tributary of the Missouri River to the east, and this thing runs about 300 miles. Uh, so it comes from that away, because that's where the uh, Missouri River is. But uh, just this area right here, like this is built so, so nice. Just the, the foliage and the grass and stuff down in here. Instead of just leaving a blank riverbed, like like a lot of the routes you see in Train Simulator. Like, this looks phenomenal. 
this this is it you know for me this is this is how the stuff should look it looks really really good it's not just a bare riverbank you know it looks like a, a concrete ditch essentially and of course the bridge itself looks uh, very very excellent now this here is the uh, the Deadwood Junction a lot of it is not modeled it's only a teeny tiny bit I'll show you what I'm talking about here here's the Y there's us down yonder and it goes out a couple of miles now uh, this now is the Mickelson Trail and it runs over a hundred miles from Edgemont to Deadwood and it essentially follows this railroad so when this map was built this time period that we're in now this still existed uh, for the most part uh, didn't really get ran on but it was a line built by the CB&Q like a lot of the stuff out here Chicago Burlington and Quincy uh, in 1890 and I think it was last operated by Burlington Northern in 1986 so the late 80s but it's just kind of a multi-use trail that um, that follows uh, this old this old rail bed a lot of it's ripped up I think a lot of it still exists not a lot of it uh, probably about a mile or two and then it's just a trail and it heads out through the Black Hills over that way to uh, to Deadwood very pretty area it'd be nice to kind of have it you know backdated a little bit more and, and have a, a little bit more of a run over there but there's really nothing to do I think there is an industry over there but uh, they probably haven't been rail served in some time but uh, this be the town of Edgemont let's see what else we got here make sure I'm not missing nothing let's see now I think a lot of this um, is unfinished as with you know like I noted in the other two videos uh, a lot of this route is finished but there are parts that are unfinished this um, I don't I don't want to say was thought of after the fact but the Orin sub over in Wyoming over to the west was kind of where it all started on this route if I'm not mistaken and then uh, and then he figured what the hell just uh, you know build build the whole loop all the way around uh, so scenery kind of stops um, all through there essentially um, you can see where it kind of just ends uh, it just you know everything's laid out the infrastructure's there the signaling is there the switches are there the terrain is there uh, you know you got these old telegraph or power poles um, just you know things like assets grasses buildings uh, things of that nature but uh, it is a gorgeous gorgeous area out here the uh, the Black Hills this tiny little section of South Dakota just absolutely stunning scenery that's one of those places I'd absolutely love to go in real life as well old Western gold and silver mining and all that good stuff but anyway so this is Edgemont this is the beginning of our journey and then uh, next up we're gonna head on down to Newcastle which is in ah that's loud which is in uh, Wyoming itself got some of the uh, the ghostly squealage So we're going to run over to this uh, this old Deadwood line here, which is now the Mickelson Trail. It's pretty unfinished through here until you get a little bit closer to the hills. And it's actually some really, really uh, pretty and nice um, creation here. Start letting the scenery load in here. And it's uh, it's got this nice curve coming down off the mountain there. And then you get through here and this... All these pines and these rocks placed through here I mean look at this I don't know if this was just a little fun addition or, or test by Tomcat to make this but this area is absolutely gorgeous it's it's kind of sad that you can't really do anything with it I mean you certainly could if you wanted to just plop a train down and, and run it and just take in the scenery because it is absolutely gorgeous out here 
And we'll just keep going. I believe there's a bit of a clearing up here. You can kind of see off to the west. But it's it's just amazing looking. It's just a little bit of it. There's not a whole lot. Kind of kind of sparse through here. There you go. Got a big wide open deal there looking around. Still got some rocks over here. This is just kind of like the the beginning of the Black Hills. Then it curves back around this way, all the while elevating or uh, de elevating if you're going the other way. And then this bit through here, little canyon. This just looks awesome. Looks so good. Keep on scooching this way. It ends up here not too much farther. Nope. Yep. Nope. Okay, so yeah, that's about where it ends. So it'd be cool as hell to have that, uh, you know, built all the way out, fleshed all the way out, because this, this is one of those areas that's just like just scenery for days. Very, very scenic. Cutting alongside these little canyons here. This huge uh, berm was built here to put the tracks on. Even the way this is laid out, man. Look at this, like the, the dirt versus the ballast and just the track laying on here looks amazing you know it's 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 rounded off it doesn't have those crazy sharp edges that are just not normal you know in nature or natural things it just looks really good you know it looks a little disused this bit looks awesome i really like this bit here all right so let's head on back to uh back uh, west actually north but railroad term west up to uh newcastle wyoming we're now on the outskirts of newcastle wyoming so we just crossed the state line a few miles to the south still on the edge of the black hills here as you can see which is why it's called the black hill subdivision and scenery starts thickening up a lot through here uh, as i said this the subdivision is not completely finished um it it starts right around that curve uh, back there but then it starts getting very very scenic these these gentle dark dark uh tree covered hills or aka the uh, the black hills in the distance there just look really good and it's a pretty good sized town um there's a few things you can do here you got your first bridge coming and again the embankments just the the cleanness of it Again, look very nice. Got a couple of bushes growing under there. Probably some hobos waiting on a train. But uh, this scenery is stunning. I love this scenery. We'll scooch on up into town here. Another little bridge there. It's your mile marker 519. This is a county road right here. And this essentially begins the main uh, point of the town. Uh, going westbound anyway. You got your freight and passenger 35 and 35. Uh, but this place over here took some digging to figure out what in the hell this is because it's very nicely built and it's a fairly large place. Uh, I believe it's called Greenbrier Management Services. Um, they essentially handle wood chips, it's kind of like a transload facility for wood chips. Um, There's really not much else I could find out about it. Uh, I don't know if it still exists. I do know that timber was uh, a, a bit of a product here in the region, but it kind of dried up uh, as of the last several decades. So I'm not entirely sure if it's still operable. So I just got some uh, some wood chip gone sitting here. And there's a very nice uh, filling point right here. So I got one just filled up there, ready to go. You've got the, uh, the area back here. Um... It, you know, and if you look at this on Google Maps, it's uh, it's tit for tat. It um, it pretty much looks legit, except for like right here. There's a uh, couple of concrete barriers. Well, they'll they'll shove it in uh, with like a front loader or something, so it like scooches in this conveyor right here and spits it out into the rail cars. But uh, it's a neat area, and it's something that I sure as hell didn't think would exist out here. I mean, out here, you know, timber. <laughs> I mean, the Black Hills do have a lot of trees, but uh, you know, as far as far as this area as a whole 
Um, not so much. There's a Pizza Hut. Go get us a, a pizza. Ham and pineapple, of course. The best. Was that Taco Bell? Yep. Again, just a great look in town. The scenery. You got the cars going on the highway there. The uh, fuel station. The house is just sitting up on the hills. It's it's a really, really pretty area. I don't know how many times I could say that. Um, but I will continue to say it as many times as I possibly can. Uh, another big... Uh, industry or company here is the Wyoming Refining Company, uh, which was built and began in like the 1920s. And what's funny is this is a high school right in front of it. So <laughs> you could uh, you could graduate right out of high school and, and go work at the uh, the refining company. But it's actually not that funny because apparently that's what a lot of people do. It's a, it's a major industry in the area, so a lot of people do go and work here. You know, probably get, uh, you know, good pay and all that good stuff. So, uh, nice uh, lifelong uh, career and whatnot. But there's a couple of tracks right here to bring in uh, tanks and whatnot. Um, again, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not entirely sure if this is rail served. They might bring in stuff and then pump it. The There's a couple of lines here, as you can see. So, these, these are two spurs here. Then these come around. And it looks like back in the day, they used to continue, see how they kind of, and the, the way he created this again, Tomcat, you got to think like somebody sat here and created all this. The way they just kind of end into nothingness, into the terrain there. I'm pretty sure they ran up here to this uh, refinery. So I believe now what happens is it's all pipelined. So it's probably underground or, or just truck hauled or something like that. Again, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it was a bit difficult to try and find a lot of uh, info about the area here, but it's right on Main Street, or this is what they call Main Street. And again, these these assets are awesome. This is a very cool looking place. It it seems like it's missing a little extra stuff, you know, around the grounds here. But as far as like the way it's laid out, and if you look at this again on Google Maps, it's it's uh, all the all the T's are dotted and the I's are crossed, if you will. <laughs> It looks good. It looks legit. This is Main Street. I'll keep going up this way. Anyway, they do uh, bu butane, propane, uh, diesel, jet fuel, and gasoline. So they do and refine all kinds of stuff. Uh, apparently, back in the day, they had a couple of mishaps with... Uh, environmental spillages and cleanliness. And so this new company that kind of took over helped... Uh, help clean the refinery up, if you will, and just make it a little bit more safe, uh, which is always nice for the environment and humans as well. Uh, but again, little yard over here looks good. It's, you know, it's got some BNSF trucks and some extra rail and ties and just all kinds of crap that, that just makes a route feel a lot more alive just instead of leaving all this crap blank. Because they will, though, you know, they'll, they'll pull up with a flat car or whatever and just dump it all off on the side or load it up on a flat car, take it down the road, or uh, what have you. There's an old train station here as well. Uh, let's see. I think this was also built by CB and Q. I mean, pretty much this whole area, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Railroad, built through here, and these towns kind of sprang up here. So this is an old uh, train station, which is now naturally a BNSF office Um Let's go over here and check out the town a little bit. It is a really pretty area, though. I mean, when you think of this route, it's yes, it's called Powder River Basin, but it's not just about coal, you know? I mean, there's so much more to this area, and it looks phenomenal. It really does. These hills. I mean, there's stuff I paid for off the Steam store that doesn't look this good, like terrain-wise, you know? It's just so 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 clean in the way that the bushes are laid out there's kind of the bald spots you know where it's maybe been forested or a fire or something like that it's kind of leveled it out it's just it looks so good so so good anyway the uh the cb and q came through here because there were some uh some pretty prominent coal seams in the area uh and you know back in those days you needed coal to power locomotives so it was a good deal for them they kind of they kind of rooted the town and 
sort of made it what it is today, uh, if you will. It's just a really pretty place. There's a, uh, I love this crossing right here as well. Get a train going through here. Just look up Main Street like that. Look at that scene right there. That looks phenom. Very, very nice. There's usually traffic here. There's not any now. I don't know why. It's it's kind of weird. A minute ago, or not a minute ago, but the other day I had a train rolling through here looking around, and there was uh, traffic. And, of course, they do stop there um, at the, uh, the crossing arms. Got a little ditch over here. Which, uh, these, like, the the bridges in this route are, like, some of the best damn looking bridges in North American train sim stuff. Get on the outskirts of town. It's just a big old curve. Another crossing here. You can still see the refinery there. Got some ballparks. Friday night lights. Small town of Merca. And soccer fields in Wyoming. <laughs> I kid. Um, another crossing here. I love this though, because you know not every crossing has to be just some bare ass pavement. You know, look at this. He put these medians in here. These concrete and brick laid medians in here. This looks awesome. This looks very very nice. It just it just adds. A little bit more to the crossing looks a bit more realistic and again it's very cleanly laid very very nice keep scooching on this way it keeps kind of skirting around the black hills here most of this area is um, laid out asset wise as you can see here we got a lot of grass trees rocks um, I think it kind of stops up this way, but there's an old, uh, there's an old power station up here as well. And this, I always forget about this. There's an airport here. So it's like a little municipal airport that runs right by the, uh, the railroad there. And what's cool about these, uh, which this comes from 3d trains to Hatchapi, these, uh, these little Cessnas that fly a course. That's cool as hell. I mean, I don't know what the hell that thing's doing, but <laughs> He's uh, strong winds, strong winds. Anyway, so yeah, little little airport right here as well, which is nice. You come out here with the uh, the weed control. Keep on scooching this way. Lonely tree in the middle of a grassy field. Got a couple of sightings there. Couple of big old fields. I love these giant circle crops like this out here. A little bit more arid open rock face stuff through here as well. All right, where's that power plant? There's a power plant up here somewhere. But gorgeous scenery. I mean, you can run through here quite a dang ways uh, and, and still have all the scenery. And as you can see, just looking at the shrubs and grasses down here, it's different stuff. It's not the same thing all throughout. That's why this route is so amazing. The different colors, the darks, the lights, the weeds, you know, the, the way it's just clumped randomly. It looks so natural. Let's see, is this it? Anyway, this is Osage, uh, not really a town, more of a community, but there used to be a giant power station here, coal-fired power station, and uh, I think this is it right here. But anyway, it closed down in like 2014, and uh, coal was brought in and, and fired this son of a gun, and that's what kept it running. Now, this is it down here, okay. I think some of this stuff still exists uh, as far as the infrastructure. But I don't think the power plant um, exists anymore. They they might at, at one point have had this rail served through here. But uh, as of before this was shut down, which I think this in the game is portrayed as. So pre-2014, um, it, it's still operating. And this is a power station here. So 
got their uh, coolant pond over there, which is cool. Just just little little details and the way it's built, it just looks so so damn good. Got some more coolant uh, ponds over there as well. A couple of ranches or farms with some grain tanks. Got like a little shipper industry over here. Different trucks. Woo. Flat nose K dub. Those are so cool, man. All right, so that is pretty much it um, for this area. There's not a whole lot um, industry wise, but as far as scenery, you know, running. Running a loaded coal uh, eastbound or, or empties, um, you know, back west. This is some damn good scenery to take in. Got a little bit of a lumber yard going on over there or mill. We'll just keep scooching out this way. But most of this uh, is filled in. We'll see how much of it actually is. I think before we get up to the... Uh, the big curve westward, it kind of uh, fades out again. Not really sure. Got another little siding track there. Oh, well, hello. Random train. I don't remember putting that there. <laughs> uh, maybe he's got a hot box. He's chilling. But this right here. The scenery. Look at this. This little pond down here. Ditch. Just so, so gorgeous. Keep scooching on this way. We got this nice cut through here. This is a very pretty area as well. Got some trees. Again. Propane tanks for them switches so they don't freeze up in the winter time. Or are they greasers? All right, now this place is pretty cool. Okay, I didn't realize this was this close. All right, so this is up in Wyoming. We're still in Wyoming, obviously, still going westbound. I didn't realize how close we were to this. I thought we were a bit farther. Uh, but the scenery is filled in, so it just seems like that area between Edgemont and uh, the town we were just in, it's not filled in yet. But this is, and this is a very cool area because there's a very, very large industry or industrial park here that, uh, that you can mess around with. Uh, got this truck lot over here. Just, I, I cannot get over the way this stuff's laid out. Like, it, it looks like something you would totally see on the side of the road. You know, with these trailers parked here and whatnot. Got a Firestone. Wee doggy. There you go. Get your car, truck, whatever tuned up there. Anywho, this is Upton. It's a fairly small community. Uh, but it's got a fairly large industry here, so you'll see the uh, the tracks start to split up here. Got some more BNSF uh, maintenance stuff there. This is another one of those towns that's just an old settlement, you know, due to the, uh, the CB&Q, essentially. Um, there's not much history to this place, as far as I can tell, uh, because of records being burned and lost and all that good stuff. It was just an old settlement for cowboys, you know, ranchers, homesteaders, and all that good stuff. And uh, it was a prominent, uh, being that it's fairly wide open now, as you can see, we're a bit away from the Black Hills now. You can still see them there in the distance. Uh, it was a, a very prominent cattle town. Um, stuff happened. It turned out to not be a very prominent cattle town, and it turned to sheep. So it was a very prominent sheep town. I believe the, the area up here is named Merino, uh, if I'm not mistaken, for the sheep type of sheep. Uh, but the railroad built a kind of like a, a loader for livestock up here for sheep. So it kind of the town kind of sprang up behind it, if you will. Um, but it's a it's a neat little place. And this over here, uh, I noticed this when I was first here on this map. And I was like, what in the hell? So 
that's what's kind of cool about this town here. They've got this old, uh, the way it was kind of deal depiction of what this, you know, Wild West town looked like. And uh, he's got it, you know, he put it down right here. That's cool as hell because I wonder what that was. And I, I started reading about the area and just, you know, getting my bearings and that was there. And that that's that's totally cool. Just little, little tiny neat details like that. Need some silos in the distance, but it's it's not a very large town. A gas station there. Anywho, I'll stop blabbing. So this area right here, fairly large industry. This is called Big Cat Energy or Tiger Transfer. And I guarantee if you look that up, 99% of the stuff you'll see is that crazy lady from Tiger King. Uh, for whatever reason. So you got to be very specific looking this stuff up. <laughs> Uh, but it, it, that is what it's called. Uh, it's an industrial park. It's, it's a BNSF designated, uh, transload facility, if you will, to, to put it in, in non layman technical terms. So it serves, uh, you know, many industries, many companies, um, you know, via railhead and, and, and train to truck or truck to train, if you will. Uh, the offices are here in the middle there. Uh, and apparently this place is still going. It's fairly new, um, you know, maybe within the last couple of decades and, and they're still going. They still offer, a, they own most of this land, uh, if I'm not mistaken, so they can still add more industry out here. Uh, time will only tell, tell. but the, uh, the two main lines run through there. It's essentially got a balloon loop. There's a couple of spotting tracks there. Another one there. Well, that gets back on the main line anyway. A couple of tanks back over here. Which again, this is all this is all tit for tat, the way this is laid out here. And uh, I tried to represent that with the, uh, the cars that I've got set here for these different industries. But that's the, uh, the main warehouse. I think actually the offices are over there, if I'm not mistaken. But it's, it's a huge place and there's a lot you can do with it. Um, now because we don't have doodle bugs in the game, uh, I just sat a, a GP 38 dash two here, uh, just handling some tanks, but, uh, the place is massive. Like you get up on a, a large scale and it's just, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of crazy if you think about it, but it's the perfect place, uh, you know, to, to put this, uh, this industry park, but it's a neat place. Never knew it existed. Um, you know, obviously until this, this glorious thing called powder river basin here for train simulator, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's a neat place. That's about it. Um, for the town. Yeah. Yeah. That must, that must be the high school over there. But again, even though it's just, whoop, that's the sky, Sean. Uh, even though it's just, you know, a tiny town, not a whole lot to it. It's still detailed to the nth degree. It just looks really, really good. Very, very nice. I mean, this map is just huge. It's overwhelming. It literally is overwhelming. I mean, just these little industries here, like everything paints like a scene, even though it's not necessarily moving. It's just, it looks legit. It looks real. It looks like something you'd see, you know, small town America riding down the highway, you know, just looking around like this is what stuff looks like in a lot of places. But, uh, it's gorgeous. Looks very, very nice. Big cat energy, energy, energy. Don't know what I'm saying sometimes. Tiger transfer. Yeah, so. <laughs> There's Big Cat Energy. All right, on to the next. All right, welcome to Moorcroft, Wyoming. So we are way, way farther west uh, than where we were a moment ago in Uptown. And as you can see here, big interchange. Let's see, we got some stuff to look at down there. Just trying to figure out about where we were. So there's where we were. So not too far, 
ton of stuff you can do in this area though and this is where it starts getting into the coal coal area black gold or black diamonds that is uh, again very very lovely area it's you know it's not as hilly it's more plainsy um, I mean it is eastern Wyoming I mean, just look at this ditch here man that's gorgeous the grasses again all different types of colored grasses it's not all the same darn thing over and over again we're gonna head back east here a little bit we got a couple of different uh, industries to look at Moorcroft is actually this way we were we were over in Donkey Creek uh, back yonder there I kind of started a bit too far like a dingus so we're gonna scooch this way let the scenery load in Got a couple of Earl pumps, some derricks out here, which is pretty cool. It's always neat seeing those things. Another one over here. Gonna keep on keeping on here. Jeez, I didn't realize how far we were. But yeah, you've got several uh, industries here. So, Moorcroft is a bit farther than I thought. We'll get there. We'll get there. A couple of creeks. There we go. All right, so this is Moorcroft. Let's get all the way down to the end here. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. That's about where I want to be, I think. Yes, okay. So, Moorcroft, Wyoming. Uh, you know just another railroad town incorporated finally in like 1906 not a whole hell of a lot more about it but it's got quite a few industries around here which is pretty cool uh let's see got some uh some stuff for the uh the maintenance away there first up here's an old uh tower as well i believe this used to be served i don't know if it's any longer there um, it might have been torn down completely uh, this first place here is I think this is uh, GCC Dakota oh, hold up where are we at now I'm lost No, where's GCC Dakota? I am lost. I think it's actually farther down. Oh, this is it. Yeah. Okay, this is it. Hader. All right, so big, uh, big cement works. Got a ton of cars sitting here. They got a couple of spurs so they can shift stuff around. Here's the actual cement works itself. Which again, these assets look amazing. Got the dump hole right there, effectively named. Over here is a, a propane company. Let's see, what is this one called? Jeez, I cannot remember these names. Huh. I cannot remember for the life of me. It's in the manual anyway for the route. That like the the few industries that are named, these are there. But it's a huge propane place. I sell propane and propane accessories. Hank Hill would effing love it here. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of tanks. Got a couple of tank cars sitting there. Got the the interstate up yonder there. Dry creek bed over there. So yeah, there is a couple of industries there to work with. So there's there's some stuff to do. There's there probably used to be a lot more stuff to do. Uh, but it's it's a nice change of pace and scenery. You're you're pretty much running wide open out here, uh, as with your a lot of this route, um, except for the canyon lands, the canyon land uh, down to the uh, southwest, which we'll get to in due time. But it's it's wide open, big sky country. Although yes, we're not in Montana, but it's same deal for Wyoming. They just didn't coin the phrase. 
Gonna scooch back down here. Down here uh, where I started, that's actually Rosette Fertilizer. It's an unloader. DVDVD. All right, there's the oil derricks. Keep following the interstate. Awkward silence. Insert cricket sound bite. Any moment. So this this area, this region that we're currently in, this is essentially where. Ooh, look at that wash right there with them rocks, son. That's what I'm talking about, man. Little shrubs, little shrubberies. Look at that. Little trickle of water that comes out of the hills that these uh, plants feed off of. That's gorgeous. Just little things like that. Anyway, if I'm not mistaken, this area up here is where this project that is still uh, ongoing, but mostly complete, I I would guess. Um, this is all kind of where it started. So a lot of it should be uh, completed for the most part. Got another oil derrick over there. But uh, big fossil fuels area, if that wasn't readily apparent with uh, coal, but shh, all kinds of stuff. A lot more than coal. All right, we're almost there. Another ditch there as well. I, I, can't, I can't imagine what it, what it would take to do this. I mean, just, just looking at the, the grass. I'm sorry that I had to stop, but it just, it takes me, you know, the, how, how, more in depth and darker the green is along these creeks, you know, versus like just the dry brush and grass and the way it's laid out. I mean, it's a lot of damn grass, you know, to lay this. This map is huge. Many, many years. All right, sorry, distracted. Get on back down here. All right, we're almost there. I can see it. I can seize it. All right, so this is Rosette Fertilizer. We got a couple of hoppers there. Dumping. Taking dumps. Got another pizza hut. I think there's like a high school there in real life or, or school. That's what that is. All right, and now Donkey Creek. Um, majority... But if you will likely know what Donkey Creek is and what it was, what it is today or, you know, a few, few years ago, it's kind of sad uh, how it turned out because you can go on YouTube or, you know, Flickr or whatever and just see an absolute butt ton of video and pictures of just, you know, idling, disused power locomotives just all down these tracks. I tried to set this up more akin to just on the sunset of its heyday, I guess you could say. Uh, so coal trains coming and going. These empties here are coming back in. Actually, that's, that's no, that's coal going out. I just forgot to add it in because I'm a dingus. But this one here, yeah, that's coal going out. So these tracks here are effectively the main line and you can kind of tell by the ballast and the color which is nice so it's easy to tell you know in case you get turned around like i often do so these are outbound just filled going east uh these tracks up here are empties or staging areas if you will going back west same with those over there uh you've got a couple of spurs for maintenance right here which is pretty nice again all the stuff that's laid out looks amazing these wheels these axles barrels springs all kinds of stuff these are bad order tracks effectively so all the bad order cars get pulled in here and then they fix them or take them on you know somewhere else but this yard is massive it's uh it's located just east of gillette gillette's a pretty sizable town in wyoming i don't think it's uh built in into this iteration of the powder river basin i don't i don't think it's in the game um I'll, I'll double check on that i'm pretty sure it's not though but uh 
Anyway, it's at the intersection of the Black Hill Sub, which we're wrapping up here, the Orange Subdivision, and the Campbell Subdivision. It's got 22 tracks. 13 are for coal trains, uh, through tracks. Uh, eight are stub tracks for bad order cars, things like that. Fill, maintenance away equipment, locomotive storage. Uh, some of the tracks or sidings range from seven to about eleven thousand feet i think so pretty darn long uh work around here usually includes fueling and inspection uh bad order set outs uh staging of of coal trains uh fulls and empties and crew changes as well but uh again this i'm trying to set this up like it's heyday uh now it's I don't know about extremely recent, but I do know as of like five years ago or so, it's just sad, 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 sad. All these, all these extra engines just sitting here. But, you know, again, with the scene, uh, Tomcat sets up here. You got the crew change van chilling there. The limousine <laughs> truck fuel tanker. And just it's 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 a cool area to play around with. I took quite some time trying to fill this up and set it up to look somewhat natural, you know, with a couple of different engines from years gone past. Now it would have been a lot, a lot more full than this, but depending on what kind of specs you got for your PC and how much it can handle, I was already stressing mine putting this stuff in. Luckily these these gondolas that come with the route. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they're they're not low poly, but they're built so they don't take up a whole hell of a lot of RAM. So, so we got two spurs right here, outbound that way. That one there is supposed to be outbound as well, and then these right here coming back empty. And then again, the bad orders over here, and just some, you know, whatever sitting over there. Got all the lights and uh power poles going down and what's cool about this area is the terrain it's not just flat i mean look at this it's crazy that is one hell of a dip going down there and then of course you've got these uh these hills in the background and they look very nice as well there's one behind us too just another uh facility over here probably just for fuel so that's that a couple of tankers over here. Got the garage. The bunch of super duties. Just a rando engine. This 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 little mound, this hill right here is gorgeous. I love the way that looks. I don't know, something about it. Got a radio tower over here. Man, I'll tell you what. I bet the top of this hill right here has got a hell of a view. On Donkey Creek IRL. I don't know what's up here, but yeah. That'd be a, a great view for this place. So this is it. This is the, the beginning uh, in, in this kind of series I'm trying to do here of uh, coal operations. Um, while we work down an alliance, and that too is a bit. This you know, this is where the coal comes from, if you will. So we will we will definitely start getting into that. This is all BNSF shops back here as well. Got a big old ditch, another creek, and then here is the junction, and it's huge. It's huge, and I. You know, I'm kind of seeing a lot of this for the first time. If you're watching this video and you have not seen this, uh, I'm kind of seeing this for the first time with you. I have not been down there uh, at all, but that's where we will be going next. That's the Orin uh, sub. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it is. That's the Orin, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the Orin. And then this... Uh, that's Cam Campbell Junction right there. That's East Campbell. So that's Campbell. This way right here goes to Gillette. Black Hill Sub Gillette. That's actually where the Black Hill Sub ends IRL. I think. I'm pretty sure it is. But it's it's just not in the game. So that's fine. Uh, it, Gillette's a pretty damn big town. So I can totally see why. You got a couple of uh, balloons up there. We'll check those out as well. I think this is actually where the, the map uh, 
began working on. But look at this yard. I only filled it a tiny, tiny bit. Just stunning, the operations that went on out here. Yes, it makes Greta frown, poor little Greta. You know, but as, as far as the scale of this place and what went on and what still kind of goes on to this day, it's just awesome. You, you really got to sit back and, and think about the uh, the day in and day out of this place. It's insane. But uh, as of right now, that is it. A little bit shorter one. Uh, some of the scenery is unfinished, which is totally fine. This isn't a finalized product uh, by any means. And uh, we will be back and we'll check out those balloon loops in the uh, northwest corner and start heading down the orange sub as well. And uh, really, really get into coal country. But that is it. Uh, for today and for the Powder River Basin episode on the Black Hills subdivision. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.